Hello and welcome to the BI WizKid YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to look at the feature of Power Query called Fill Down. Now, you might have seen it, you might have used it, you might think, what can we use it for? Well, in this video, we're going to look at what it is, what it does, and the use cases that we might find ourselves uh, utilizing it in. Okay, so this video is going to be short, it's going to be sharp, it's going to be to the point. So let's get going. Hashtag boom. <laughs> Right, let's get to it. Let's go straight to our screen and let's have a look at what we've got here. So we can start from refresh. Let's quickly, let's go and get some data and let's see what we've got to work with. So I've got my dimensions data, which I'm going to pull in here and let's have a look at see what sort of scenario we're going to get with our fill down option. Okay, so this appears in quite a lot of scenarios, but uh, not that often. It depends how the end user actually inputs the data uh into the um into the source uh source system or the source uh data set so just opening up this query here so we've got our product table let's go back over here uh let's call it items now here we've got section Everything seems to be okay. So we've got item ID, we've got item, we've got production ID, we've got value, which is all okay. And then this section area, where if we hover over it, we can see that we've got 97% of data is actually empty. And if we scroll down, we've got varied at the top. And if we scroll down, then we've got another option outdoors down here, outdoors again, green here, green here. And so it just sort of keeps randomly appearing down at the bottom. Now, if we go over to our excel sheet okay and have a look at this so this is the actual excel sheet the item details varied so as you can see it scrolls down and it comes to another section so it looks like actually the output or this sort of source system generated this export and for each section it's just giving you a header for what that sort of section is so the outdoor section there the green section there the green section there etc etc and as you go down, I think there should be another green uh, youngsters there as well. Comes under youth, etc., etc. Okay, so that's what the data looks like. And essentially, this is the type of data. If it was exported for that particular reason, we have to make sure actually that that's the actual reason why the data is like that. If you're unsure, if um, you know you need to sort of double check, make sure you do that because we can't always assume uh, things are the way you you think they are um and so instead of going through all the development and all the changes uh, you know let's make sure that that's the case in this case it is uh, so we know we can sort of make that change so we're going to select our column we're going to go to our transform tab at the top here and there's a fill option here now we've got two options fill up and fill down now you use a fill down if the top one is filled in okay so if it's filled in generally it'll start at the top and then it will fill down if that section wasn't filled in and it's died at the bottom, it could be that the bottom needs to be sort of filled up. Okay, this one is filled down, so I'm going to click on fill and fill down. And you'll see it fills down the varied until it goes down and until it sees outdoors and it'll fill down the outdoors and then the green, etc. etc., making our sort of uh, column 100% valid in terms of data. Okay, and that's as simple as it is uh, for the fill down function. But what we want to know is what use cases is it will it appear in. Now, it generally appears in when people are using Excel. Okay, so I'm going to import some more data here. Uh, but before we do, I'm just going to navigate to it and show you the example here. So this is our demo data. So this is someone who's filling in data, so sales data uh, for a particular job. So there's a particular job here. So one job has a number of different sort of orders. So multiple orders, so almost like a job header and then job lines. So individual sort of orders within that particular job. Uh, the order date, separate one for each one. The manufacturer for that particular product. And this is a product, again, you can see it's got one product, it's got one job number, but it's got a separate delivery date for all these different sort of orders uh, that are going on there. Okay. And as we scroll down here, you can see there's a lot of uh, sort of merging of columns and, and, and items here and rows okay and scroll down here and if we go to sort of job 73 for example we can see it's got one job it's got a number of different orders 
and then each order has a different item as well okay so very sort of standard use case for, for entering data this is how people might do it um you know the case is sometimes they like to do that because it makes it look easier makes it easier for them to add in the data in as well um and so as developers as power bi report developers we need to be able to handle that without doing that manual intervention okay so let's import this straight into power bi and see what this looks like i'm going to go to power bi here i'm going to go to my home tab i'm going to go to new source i'm going to go to excel workbook and then i'm going to power bi demo so import this data now watch what happens here when we import it so on the front end it was merged so you can see that the columns on the front side of excel you can see this job header was sort of merged all the way down with a number of job numbers for each of that and if we import our sales data here we'll see that we'll have the same columns available of course but look at the job header here so the job header has one value in the top and then doesn't fill in the rest of them until it sees the next job number okay but then the job number 65 corresponds to all these ones down here all the way to this one here okay and then if we look across to our items as well so we can see this item here has not been filled down okay and it's because of the merge columns within excel there we go so that peloton has only come at the top the job 65 is already coming at the top and you see the divio is in the same same line as the job 66 looking at in power bi we can see here divio is on the same line as job 66. now this is a perfect scenario where we can use our fill down option within our uh, data here okay now if we go to here click on the job header transform fill and fill down now it's all the way fill down we filled in those gaps within power bi we don't need to manually do that within excel and we've got everything listed as we expected to there uh, looking at our validity we've got 100 percent there as well okay this one should be a text which it already is which is great and then if we go to our items over here on the right hand side you can see we can do the same thing so the validity at the moment is 60 percent empty so we're going to go to the transform fill and then fill down and then that's going to give me 100% green in there as well once it's filled all those down okay and we mentioned there was job 73 so if we noticed in our data job 73 had very similar layout but it had different products and if we go down here to job 73 row 44 we can see as we go across it's got different products within there as well Okay, so it handles that, it works, and that's the way that you use fill down. And one of the sort of scenarios whereby you can use uh, fill down in in a real life uh, sort of scenario there. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, like I said, short, sharp video just to show you use cases on on how you can use fill down within an organisation and where you might expect it to be used. So definitely when people are entering data within Excel and they're using merge columns, either get them to totally remove the merge columns, or if they do merge columns, there does need to be uh, a value within each one of those. Otherwise it'll fill down and it'll miss out a row and it'll just skew with all your data. Okay, so we're gonna have lots of more sort of tips and tricks coming up and best practices uh, on this channel. If you wanna stay notified, uh, click that bell and subscribe to our channel and look forward to seeing you on the next video. Hashtag boom. Oh.